Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Chicago Conservative. If you are a new viewer, make sure you hit that like subscribe button. And if you are a returning viewer, then thank you guys for coming back. I appreciate it. Okay. Now, Barack Obama, you're pissing me off and you're pissing off the black men, dude. Get out of the way. Okay. This isn't going to work, buddy. Now, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Barack Obama reached out to some black voters and he basically is saying, our black brothers, our black African-American brothers, we need you to vote for Kamala because Kamala, she understands you. She knows who you are as the black man. First of all, if she understands us, why isn't her husband black? She, he's a white Jewish man, by the way, that sleeps with nannies and gets them pregnant. But guys, if Kamala is so relatable, why doesn't she have the black man? Oh, I know why, because the Democratic Party have been exposed. Now, I can't speak for the black women. I can't speak for you guys, but the black men are waking up, guys. I don't know if you guys know the statistic, but incarceration rates for black men has decreased by 30 to 35 percent. That is huge. That means black men are tired of being locked up. Black men are tired of being in the victim mindset. That's blinding them from opportunities. Now, I'm going to just tell you guys this. When it comes to Kamala Harris, everybody knows she's fake. How can a black man, con you know, how can he connect with someone like Kamala Harris who's fake? She can't even answer a question for the American people. I could be white. Like, it doesn't really matter. What you're doing and what you're saying to the American people are lies. You cannot use Obama to save you. And you can't use Magic Johnson either. Magic Johnson took it upon himself to go to a Kamala rally, right? He's talking about, now, I'm talking to the brothers here. Y'all know I played against Michael Jordan. Y'all know I played against Larry Bird. But I'm going to need you guys to vote for Kamala Harris. Because Donald Trump promised black people things that he didn't you for black people like first of all my guy what did donald trump promise for black people did he promise to lock us up for no reason like jamal true love like kamala harris did uh absolutely not he actually was getting people out of jail thanks to the first step act that was getting them released from jail for petty crimes like marijuana when kamala harris herself smoked was she actually looking like she'd been smoking too much damn weed like, lady, you look like, I don't know if it's the wine or the whatever, but Trump wouldn't just keep you in jail for weed, but Kamala would, and she smokes weed. Yeah, blacks. So I'm going to just throw this out here, guys. These people cannot be successful with this. Do not let them manipulate you with things like Barack Obama like and that's why I'm like they're going for the black man now they're now they're trying to use people like rappers and basketball players like Magic Johnson. Like okay, you you were a basketball player. Who cares? You don't know nothing about politics. Who who cares, okay? Who cares, bro, what you have to say about politics, bro? You are a basketball player. You are a retired basketball player. Nobody cares what you say or do when it comes to politics. You are rich. You are a millionaire, bro. Nobody cares what you have to say, especially Magic Johnson. I know you ain't. You know what? I'm going to get there soon, guys. Take a look at Barack Obama being a fool and Magic Johnson being a fool. Roll the clip. We have not yet seen the same kinds of energy and turnout in all quarters of our neighborhoods and communities as we saw when I was running. I've got a problem with that because, because part of it makes me think, and I'm speaking to men directly, Part of it makes me think that, well, you just aren't feeling the idea of having a woman as president. Mm -hmm. And you're coming up with other alternatives and other reasons for that. There's a lot of black men in here, and I don't mean to, you know, not talk to other people, but this is important. 
our black men, we got to get them out to vote. That's number one. Kamala's opponent promised a lot of things last time to the black community that he did not deliver on. And we got to make sure we help black men understand that. So that's why I'm here to make sure I help black men understand. First, get out and vote and then vote for the next president of the United States, Kamala Harris. Now, can I just get this out the way? Barack Obama, you are making this way worse. You are actually insulting the black men in America while you're making this video. You want to know why? Because, you know, Hurricane Helene is a thing right now, right? And she's giving Americans only $750. And they're going to lie and say, oh, that's just for right now. Um, Where's the rest of the money then? And you have Mallorca saying... Um, we do not have the funds. We do not have the funds. My guy, how do you guys have billions of dollars to send to these other countries? Make it make sense. But my thing is this. Let me go to Magic Johnson for a second. Because my, my guy, if you are trying to get black men, uh, Magic Johnson, you need to be uh, looking at your son, my guy. That's a 6'9", uh, bewilderbeast with a wig on. You think black men are going to listen to you when your son's a... Oh, my God. Help me. Listen, man. Magic Johnson, you're not the right guy for this. Honestly, nobody's the right guy for this. If you guys can't accept the fact that black men are for Trump... Yes, uh, excuse me, are for, is for Trump this year, then I don't... We don't care. We do not care. We are tired of being lied to. We are tired of not having our neighborhoods safe because at this point, the Democrats do not care about police. I mean, you know, funding the police to keep the people safe, the taxpayers safe. Do they want to um, keep the illegal safe at this point? Because you see in New York, they're letting them back on the street after assaulting police officers. We want lower taxes. We do not want to depend on the government. Okay, we want our own businesses. We want our own stuff so we do not have to keep depending on you people. What is wrong with y'all? Do you, you mean to tell me black African Americans want to depend on the government for the rest of their freaking lives and the next generation after that? How are you going to make generational wealth? You will not get that with these Democrats, I'm trying to tell you. When it comes to this guy, Barack Obama, uh, yo, you had eight years in office you served two terms what did you do for black people you've done absolutely positively freaking nothing you you did more for lgbt plus y abc community than you did for african americans and we have been we have it has literally been a problem for us not pulling that race car stuff but racism was a thing guys now, I'm not saying we we didn't overcome it, but why can't we o overcome the things nowadays? Like all of this brainwashing that's coming from the left in the mainstream media. And me personally, I feel like we're almost there, but you have, I'm gonna just keep it a buck, guys. You got simp beta men. It's simp beta men that's really keeping us behind, guys. They want to follow the women, and they want to act like the woman is the leader. No, it does not work like that. I'm not saying a woman can't be a leader, but uh, if it's a man in her life, the the man should be the leader. He should be wants he should be wanting to protect her and provide for her. A beta man is gonna wanna, oh, can I have this, babe? Can I have that, babe? Oh, babe, can you drive? Like, dude, what kind of man is that? You guys do know these toxic masculine men? Oh, oh my God, the patriarchy. Yeah, these are men that are fighting for our country right now. These are soldiers. These are police officers. These are people that protect you while you live your stupid life every single day. Oh, but they're, oh, but the patriarchy. Oh, my God, my mask, oh, I hate me. Like, get over it, Okay. And if you, if you hate the patriarchy so much, then go do those jobs. Go do them. Go be pilots. Go be uh, truck drivers. Go fight in the military because it's 97% men. 
Oh, but y'all don't want to do that though, right? Because you guys, and, and, and my thing is this, when it comes to things like the selective service, women have to be careful with stuff like this, man, because you guys don't have to get enrolled in selective service when you turn 18, but men do. Men have to get drafted if it's a war going on. Why does she have a, because you do know our commander in chief decides if we go to war or not, right? Why does this person that isn't even contributing anything to our society that doesn't know anything about politics that don't have nothing like contributed when it comes to war. Why does this person have the same say so as a person who literally is ready to fight and die for our country, pays taxes and contributes to society in the right way that doesn't add up guys. I look like Wolverine that don't add up. Okay. But my thing is this, if we keep allowing this to happen, we will not have a country in the next 10 to 15 years, guys. Show me one time in the Constitution uh, that it says democracy once. It doesn't even say democracy in the Constitution at all. We are a constitutional republic. Okay, guys, I just wanted to throw that out there because people are failing to realize what we stand for as a country. But my thing is this. Barack Obama, you're a sick man. You honestly sucked as a president. You only became president because you were passed as a black man. But people keep forgetting you got a white mom. And my thing is this. Magic Johnson, just shut up. Okay, bro, just shut up. I really don't have any words for you because you're a basketball player. You're a basketball player, okay? Like you your word means nothing to us. Please be quiet. Because you really don't have any influence on the, you know, on the black man really anyways. Like you're not really that relevant anymore besides when you're talking about basketball. Okay? So just go under your tunnel. But anyways, guys, like I said, this will not work. Black men, if you are voted for Trump, do not let them lie to you and say, oh, well, you and Uncle Tom, you are, you hate yourself and all this other dumb crap. Uncle Tom died not telling on two runaway slaves who were women, by the way. So do not let them insult you. Please stay awakened, guys. We're going to start saying awaken. I have been awakened, not woke and all this other, this no, guys. Make sure you guys hit that like, subscribe button, and make sure you guys tune in next time. And I am out of here, guys. Peace.